Today we are going to have a look at the Logosol Grindlux uh, Bandsaw Sharpener. As you know, it's uh, very important to keep your uh, bandsaw blades sharp. And of course, when you purchase a bandsaw mill from Logosol, you can also purchase the uh, sharpening equipment for your bandsaw blades. The Logosol Grindlux comes in a very nice box. Uh, with everything included and if we open the box up we can have a look at the parts that are inside the box of course we have the most important part the uh, grinding disc it comes with a six millimeter grinding disc that will work for all bandsaw blades that you can sharpen on the Lugosul uh, grind looks you can also purchase uh, a diamond uh, grinding disc. Uh, that grinding disc will last a bit longer, will keep the shape as well. And will also give you a good result. We have the uh, bag of smaller parts. And if we have a look at some of the parts in here that I think is important to mention, we have the grinding stone or a shaper stone. So this is the stone you use to shape the disc. So you get the correct shape of the grinding disc or sharpening disc. And of course, uh, to be able to know the correct shape, we have this uh, template that you can use for that. We have the stopping plate. So this is a plate that you actually attach to to the bandsaw blade and when the machine is done it will turn itself off a really nice and cool feature and another thing worth noting are these uh, arms uh, these arms will actually hold the saw blade and as you can see you have these ball bearings on the end which make the um, sharpening process or the saw blade move smoother uh, around the machine so those are the smaller bits and pieces and if we have a look inside here we have the bottom plate the base where the machine and everything sits on we have the grinding head that you attach to the machine and also we have the machine itself There. And at the bottom of the box, we have the legs and the arms. For having the machine set up, you get it a bit off the, off the ground. Uh, so that's the parts that come with the uh, Logosol Grindlux. And uh, we will now uh, go into uh, the machine um, in more detail. So now the uh, grind lux is uh, assembled and let's have a quick overview on the parts of the grinder. Uh, the grinder is a 12 volt machine so uh, you can use a regular car battery 12 volt to to run it as you can see we have the four legs in the bottom part and on the back here we have the arms the arms that actually hold the the bandsaw blade uh, when you feed it around and we have the grinding unit uh, on top here if we look at all the moving parts we have the feeder arm here with the knob you actually set the um, how much you take off on front in front of the tooth we have the depth uh, setting so that's where you uh, decide how much in the bottom of the gullet uh, you uh, grind away and also we have a knob here as well for adjusting the grip or how smooth the uh, pencil blade will ride along the, um, the arms and the grinding unit itself. 
so that's the uh, moving parts and next we will have a look at how you set the machine up uh, for grinding bandsaw blades. Now it's time to fit the saw blade on the grind looks. I'm using gloves, the bandsaw blades can be really sharp, so that's a, a good tip. I'm also uh, keeping track of where the weld is. It's a good reference point when you start grinding to use the weld. So let's see if we can just lift it up here and fit it on the back arms first and then slide it in where the grinder is. Like so. A good thing with the grind looks is that the arms are adjustable in length. So when you put the saw blade on for the first time, depending on the length of the saw blade, it's good to adjust the arms so that you have a very smooth uh, and easy operation. So if you have 12 volt connected to the grinder, you can just use the feeding motor and see how it feeds and also adjust the arms if it's necessary. But to me this uh, looks great. We have the ball bearings in the back uh, helping to give it a smooth ride around uh, when we start grinding. Uh, so that's how you fit the saw blade and next up is to set the grinder up for uh, grinding the saw blade. Before we start uh, grinding or uh, sharpening our blade, I just want to point out a, a few things about the machine and the uh, bandsaw blades. Uh, the machine can handle uh, bandsaw blades, uh, by metal or standard or tooth hardened uh, bandsaw blades without a problem. The most common blade size or the width is 32 millimeters, uh, which the machine can handle just fine. A normal bandsaw blade can be sharpened four to six times. If you sharpen them that much, you will get a lot out of them before you need to uh, replace them and buy a, a new saw blade. Uh, the machine can also handle uh, a large uh, variance in, in pitch can handle uh, saw blades with a pitch from 16 millimeters up to 32 millimeters. And the uh, uh, grinding head can also be adjusted uh, so you can uh, use different angles. So for example, the, the most common tooth angle on a bandsaw blade is 10 degrees. Uh, this machine can grind your blades 7, 10 or 14 degrees. 7 degrees for harder wood for hardwoods and uh, frozen wood 10 degrees a sort of a base uh, angle that you can use for most woods uh, and then we have 14 degrees which is for softwood real softwood looking at the tooth of the saw blade we have a terminology that's good to at least uh, know a little bit about because uh, when you're looking in literature and looking at films on YouTube, uh, these names will often pop up in regards to sharpening the saw blade, for example. So we have the face of the tooth, which is what is actually cutting through the wood. And we sharpen that because we want to have a new, fresh, sharp edge to give us a good cutting result. We have the gullet, which is the bottom of the tooth, where we also want to grind away a little bit of material. That's because uh, in the gullet, whenever you use a bandsaw blade, you create micro cracks. Uh, by grinding that area as well, we actually take away the start of these cracks and we can give the bandsaw blade a longer life. When the grinding disc is new, as you can see, it's completely square and needs to be shaped. 
profile the disk with the profiler and use the template to check the correct shape of the disk. When you're grinding, uh, you want to grind, as we uh, discussed earlier, the front of the tooth and the tooth gullet. And depending on the shape of your blades or the shape of the tooth on the benzo blades, you may want to adjust how the grinding head moves. And that's why we have this small plate uh, with a hole in it. This plate can be slid uh, back and forth. And by doing that, we adjust the movement of the grinding head. And as you can see, this nut goes into the hole there. Now it's time to start uh, grinding or sharpening your blade. And uh, we've already shaped the disc. I've set the angle to 10 degrees uh, because this blade has a 10 degree angle from the factory. And this is an HSS or bimetal blade. Uh, so first of all, uh, before I start grinding away, I only start the feed unit without starting the, the grinding head. That way I can safely do the adjustments I want to do. I can see that the grinding disc needs to go lower if we want to grind away in the gullet of the blade. So I turn this counterclockwise and I can see that the grinding disc drops down with every turn on the knob. And when I'm almost at the bottom, I want to adjust the, um, how much we're going to take away on the face of the tooth as well. So in this case, I, I want this feeder to drop the tooth closer to the grinding disc. And I need to turn this knob counterclockwise as well. So I do that to get as close as possible before I start the grinding disc and do the last fine adjustments. So now when I'm nearly there, I start the grinding disc and you could hear it touch the gullet but not the face of the tooth. So we need to drop it a bit lower. We want to grind away in the gullet and we want it to also give us a new fresh cutting surface on the face of the tooth as well. Ah, we're almost there. Just a little turn on the feeding arm. As you can hear, we are grinding a little bit on the face and a little bit in the gullet as well. And that's perfect. Uh, and we want it to lift over the tooth, take the face of the tooth and the gullet again. And when we're happy with the setting, uh, we can let the machine work. When we're happy with the setting, we use this uh, clamp. So we um, clamp it on the saw blade like that. 
That way we can leave the machine alone and when we get back, the machine have turned itself off. It's much more fun to use a bandsaw mill with a really sharp blade. With the Lugosul grind looks, you can get just that over and over again. If you want to know more about Lugosul and our products, please uh, reach out. You can find our contact details and more information if you go to our homepage, lugosul.com.